I'm Brian. And I'm Stephanie. There are lots of different options for how you can report what someone else has said or written. I bet you've heard of them. When you want to get up close and personal, not just with what someone said, but with how they said it, repeat their exact words using direct quotation. Precisely. It zooms way in and looks like this. According to Endira, adaptive responses are actions that respond to information from the environment in an appropriate and successful manner. Notice how the direct quotation isn't standing out on its own. Profs typically prefer to see direct quotation embedded within your sentences. So quotation works when the exact wording is important. But when it isn't, you should zoom out from the text a bit and explain it in your own way using paraphrase. Strive for an efficient and accurate representation of the original text while also making the paraphrase work for your own purposes. Right. Look at this paraphrase of what is likely multiple paragraphs in the original source. Homeless youth report trying to protect their safety using a number of strategies. Moving regularly, altering their appearance to look tougher or more menacing, carrying weapons to defend themselves, etc. Paraphrase is probably the most common way we share what others have said. Well, actually, I think high-level summary is pretty common, too. Oh, yeah. I see it all the time when writers mention the topic, central argument, or gist of a text. We see it here. These reported strategies are adaptive responses to the realities of homelessness. Yeah, we know that Canon's text is about adaptive responses, though not much more. That's high-level summary. It's zoomed way out. Writers can use high-level summary to create high-density citation as they show conversation threads and scholarship. Let's see what that looks like. On the one hand, homeless youth are described as hapless victims. And on the other hand, they are positioned as strategic culture jammers. So you use summary when you want to point to a source of a subject area or a major line of argument. Yes, and paraphrase is helpful when you want to point to something more specific that someone has said. And direct quotation when you want to draw attention to or examine someone's precise phrasing. With a little practice, switching between these strategies will become old hat. Yeah, you've got this. Until next time, happy, happy writing. writing. You've got this. <laughs>